All right, well, let's, uh, let's upgrade our skills. Uh, what about... Characters are dying left and right. It's, it's... it's... Still two points. I'm still only getting two points. Points. Uh. Gotta talk to Hytham. Radfi. Probably go talk to Rat. I assume talking to Radfi. But Hytham is like right here, right? Oh, what's this? Of course, build. Build it. If you build it, they will come. Look, she is. She's coming to the Madaya house. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. Yes. Yes. Build this. Photographer, okay. Like, what are you doing? Oh, you're building it for me? Oh, snap. Lobster. What was this? This is fine work, really. Lobster. -y. Thank you for seeing this done. Lobster. -y. Twitch TV. What's up, man? Um, what are your favorite Assassin's Creed games? Ah. <sighs> In order, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. And then um, I would say, I would say Origins. If I had to say top four. I have problems. I need a replay unit either. Just how bad it was. Maybe it's just the Value time. Salve, Evo. What? 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 How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. Wait a second. Wait, did more pop up down here? There's more? But wait, there's more. But wait. Why is this one? Okay. Time is it? Time. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. Yeah, wait. I'm gonna return. Yeah, I, I was all for it until she said that. I was like, hmm. Hmm, maybe I should wait. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great or secrecy. Or pop-up over time. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys? According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. All right. Down here, right? Yeah. Oh, 
point is I'll knock this out real quick. Then we'll uh call it a night. I think I think Friday I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wake up like like butt crack of dawn. We're gonna I'm gonna wake up at like 8 a.m. and we're just gonna play this game until I beat it. Well, until I hit like the 10-hour mark, and then I'll have to stop the stream and then restart the stream again, you know, because YouTube been there. Their problems with yeah. streams over 12 hours long. Yeah, I'm gonna beat this game. I'm gonna beat it before Sunday. We'll beat it before Monday. I'm definitely gonna dedicate uh, almost a full day. I feel I feel like the levels are BS. I, I really do. I'm 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 beating these level 160s. Oh no! I'm beating these 160s. It's not like they're super hard. All all the boss battles take is like good timing, and good attacks, and like watching your meter. It's like it's like it's pretty much like how I play Street Fighter. Like I'm watching my watching my my EX. You know I'm. I'm Building my V trigger. Okay. All right. Pop it. Boom. There we go. Big combos. Big damage. You know, it's like these. It's, it's not that hard. It doesn't seem that hard. I have been like one hit killed by some captains, I guess. But like these levels are just whatever. Man. Level 160. Pfft. Hour later, I beat it. Beat that chapter. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I guess you really don't have to grind that much. Dude, isn't like the, the final boss spell like level 450 or something like that? It's like... I love you, buddy. 50, 350. Hold on, I got a, I got a cheat sheet here. Hold on, let me look that up. Got a little cheat sheet that uh, my progress. Person has a guide. Uh, chapters and what order you should do them. I just been doing it in whatever order I want, but. Is that my computer? Oh no, here it is. Inland? Is that it? Prophecies of the King? Which one is it? Finland? Or prophecies of the king. I'm gonna click, click prophecy. Level three forty. Forty. Ah, that's enough. Aren't you pleased with yourself? I am, thank you. What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> Wait, where am I? Wait, what? Where am I? I'm very confused. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> when did I get here? Alright, so that's right. Yeah. I need a viewpoint. Nearest view. I gotta go for some cream of wheat, man. I got a hankering for some. Why 
Why do you guys distrust me? You, I don't even know you. It seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. I don't even have distrust already. This reminds me of um an Odyssey where you know the Cleopatra stuff, like her area, like and there was so much water and they had alligators and stuff. It was very cool. I like that. I like that water statue. No, it's crazy. Like in Assassin's Creed 2, they used to, they used to be like, what is he doing? Why is he doing that? Why is he climbing the wall? Like, they don't, they don't, like these people are just like, oh, it's just another person climbing the wall. Like another day. Do that. Why? Why is he doing that? What is he doing? He's gonna hurt someone. What happened to the little NPC? voice lines and stuff that used to happen like little things like that I notice you know Because you have drunk the barrel dry? Oh! Damn beer stand. His household is as poorly run as his lands. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater runner's a worthy woman, you coxcomb. But she's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for truffles. If Birsten does not return soon, wine will not be the only thing spilled upon his floors. Now, gentlemen, everyone is fractious with this waiting. Let us be civil, at least. Lord? Ah, a heroic-looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Pearson, the elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Guys, this is going to turn into porn? Something uh, is is something weird about to happen. There, is there naughty stuff happening upstairs? I don't I don't know. Close your eyes, chat. I don't know what's going on up here. Oh my lady, the poor timing I have. Born. Wait, where's my be right back? How, 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 where? Uh, that's, uh, uh, that's right back. Where's the be right back with the um? Oh, I probably don't have it on this computer. My be right back picture. Damn. Shoot. Oh, everything good up here? Everybody clothed? Okay, awesome. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. Other Dane? I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. 
The lavender fields there attract the prey. God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten. But I'll return either way. Bravery of broken heart. Patience is a godly virtue, Adrian. Yes, oh, sh oh, it's con flab. Why is there water on my screen? The raining? Not raining, but. Help! Ah, my legs! You're too old for this. Did he say cabron? What is happening here? Where am I? Damn, look at this. Yeah. Oh, another thing I loved about Odyssey. I love the statues, man. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. You'll never catch me alive, coppers. I don't want none. I don't want none. What's up? Excuse me. I'll have the whole lot of you under the table. And I'm gone. Yeah, you are too slow. Oh, Roach! <laughs> Fuckers. Hunting is a fine sport. Damn, I... Hunting is a fine sport. I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. Of course. The usual. Well, here we go. They were caught off guard as they supped. For the fruit. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. Large animal? Large animal, you say? They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Biestam still lives. Let's see. They're stunned! They're stunned! They're stunned! Where are you? They're stunned! Pearson, ready your weapon or accept your fate as a feast for bears! This is Holy spit! Why are there two bears? There in one of my visions. This is nothing. Are you having fun down there, Beastun? I've already finished my game. Ha! We'll fight to the death, worthy one. Huh. Ha! Your weapon strikes true. 
All right, you look like you can use some help. Aren't you supposed to be high leveled? Why are you not high leveled for this? Do not let them charge you. You have savaged enough men today, beast. Put this one on the bobby. Oh, look at it. I would not have survived this ambush without you. That's some good fire. Oh, what? You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I'm Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls in a blacksmith's animal. When do they not? <laughs> you could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A cell sword? Calloused hands, a man of work. Huh. How about your core? Force? President. No match to your wife. You speak ill of your wife. Has your love faded, or were you ill-matched? As family, we are as close as Cain and Abel. She is a willful woman, and I am a bad husband. You know me, it seems. Only by reputation. A deliciously teasing sentiment. <laughs> I am Abel of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once. And we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping her thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. Okay. Well, people just hiding in bushes now? Yes. I don't know why I'm putting on my hood now. Like it, it's not helping my situation. And a piss poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Piston. <laughs> would rather uh, the cat gut of a well-crafted bow. My eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a uh, crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Piston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hobbles of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes? No. He... Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. 
<laughs> Who was this owl, Beerston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adred, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling <laughs> all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his men home in shrouds. Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex once a thriving kingdom of its own? We should fight, yes, fight! And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Drink, be merry, eat your fill, sing of great battles, for tomorrow we may die. There's no problem that mead and song can't solve. Do we not deserve such mirth? A great feast and happiness? The dark days of winter approach, let us drink them yeah. away. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adred does? You know my thoughts, Beerston, the fear. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. Oh boy. Hmm. We're in a bad that ceased situation. That to be a fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Beerston. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beerston. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will... All right. <laughs> you have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. I notice your love has gone sour. Was it fresher than this? <laughs> There is so little difference between love and hate, it's difficult to say where the sourness comes from. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. <laughs> Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. 
During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Evo. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Evo. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Skills. the Roman practice of that bathing that they would build a place whose sole purpose was the cleanliness of the body as I thank you on it a clean body denotes a clean mind a godly pursuit the baths in this town were used to at least the year 500 for the people here still living as the Romans did even after the last soldier fled our shoot brother Harold 